Ciao everyone, welcome back to another Ferrari eSports live stream. We've got a bit of an enhanced setup. Normally you see us on the simulators, this time we've got some toy cars and some real life racing drivers, but I don't know what that's about. They just appeared when I was training and, well, they're here now. But anyway, <laughs> so you can see, before we were just in a set of Corsa Competizione driving the Ferraris around, but now we're going to be playing some Rocket League. This allows us to be a bit more interactive with the chat, so be sure to get your comments in and we can react better at the live time. But anyway, Marcus. It is Marcus, right? Mm. Yeah. Is How are you doing? Are you Martin Brundle or something? Did, you just, did Martin Brundle just transport here, like teleport here straight away? I, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two minutes ago you were speaking like a like a normal Englishman, the next minute you're speaking like a commentator. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's my new skill that I've learned. I somehow, yes. I locked myself in my bedroom, looked at a mirror for five days straight, and that's how I got the skill. You didn't decide to shave off no. the moustache, no? No, no, I decided to go a slug. <laughs> but how are you doing? I'm good. This is my first time playing... Um, Whatever it's called. Yeah, what's the name of the game again? Uh, Rocket League. Rocket League. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, <laughs> what, whatever that is, we're going to be playing that. We've got. Who am I speaking to? The camera. Yeah, the camera's over there. That's where everyone, awesome. however many, the millions of people that are watching are right in that camera. There. Millions. It's millions, yeah, millions indeed. Jeez. We've got Mr. Amos. Hello, hello, Brandon. The beautiful Amos. I'm doing good. It's not like we've seen each other all day before, anyway. But <laughs> have you and we've got streaming today. Tonzilla. Oh, we did. That was a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you were. Okay. But anyway, so be sure to get your comments in, everyone. Have we already got some comments coming in, or? So yeah, let's get into our first game. Are you guys able to start it or not? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Yes. Let's go. We need to wait David. No, so, no, 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 okay. David. we're pretty confident Marcus is going to carry the team, right? Yeah, yeah. that's going to be me carrying the team. I don't know which one's go and which one's stop. <laughs> well, he knows really, really good the game, no? The yeah, yeah. The game. He's How's the game made? Well, I try. Just, um... <laughs> Basically, we need to like uh, we are playing football with cars. So of course, the goal is to uh, goal to, do <laughs> <laughs> to, do the goal. to set a goal. And uh, yeah, we are playing three v three. And uh, yeah, of course, as you can see, there's a like big ball in, around the, the 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 field, and we need to to do as as much as we can to do a goal with the, with our cars. <laughs> Beautiful Just explanation. To, um, <laughs> let everyone know, I haven't actually played a PlayStation game for. I don't know. Oh, you are? Okay, sweet. Let's do some donuts then. <laughs> um, <laughs> I haven't played a video game since 2015, I think, because I've just been spoiled by simulators. And so I mean, you started with excuses now. Yeah, I was thinking that this is a lot of excuses for a <laughs> racing driver, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't be a racing driver if I wasn't making excuses, would I? Did you bring your book with you? Or Which book? The book of excuses. Um, Is that left at home? No, I didn't bring that. Anyway, when, when I was younger, <laughs> I used to play um, Gran Turismo. Is it Gran Turismo? Yeah, yes, Gran Turismo. Yeah. And then um, uh, Grand Theft Auto as well. That was pretty good. But that was like when I was 12 years old, so... <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Why the ball so move so fast? And it seems yeah, to imagine Gran gravity. Turismo and imagine now Rocky Rock to be the same, exactly the same physics. Yeah, <laughs> games have really evolved, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, same way. Oh, I did. Was that me who scored me? I've not. <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldo of whatever this is. So, David, though, what yeah. have we been doing in training? Because obviously, we've got F1 Esports coming up next week. Yeah. What are you thinking? What's our preparation like? Uh, well, this year we had. Uh, we basically started the training a little bit later because of. Uh, some, some, basically, some issues that everybody had. So let's say that compared to last year, everybody has less training. So it will be really interesting to see how people can adapt with this less training, less, less amount of training. And yeah, I'm curious to see the, the level on the, on the field. Are you? Yeah, no, I think it's going to be a good season. I think we're doing the best preparation that we can do, given the circumstances. And I think the car feels good. The competition is obviously at the highest level it's ever been, I think. We go into it, we send it into Turn 1 and hope for the best. What are we talking about? Uh, F1 Esports. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yep. Of course I can, mate. What, what, what should I say? But, but Amos, obviously Wait. you're team coach as well. What are you sort of thinking and building up to the season with? 
Well, I think the, um, <laughs> the, the, the full send in turn one will be <laughs> the, the key of the, yes. uh, of the game. No, um, what I can say is that uh, you guys are rock in this, uh, in this week. The rock? Yeah, you are rock. Like, so we're, uh, we're playing in Fast really and Furious. Well. No, <laughs> you are doing really well d during this, uh, these ultimate weeks. No? So um, I'm really looking forward with uh, Stefan also. So I'm really curious to see the level, but with you, you two and Domenico and Benz. So yeah. it will be really amazing this year. No, we do have good fun. We need to have a pizza party though. <laughs> we're yeah, pineapple. For every win. For every yeah. win? Every win, a pizza. Buy for the winner. Only for the, for the winner? No, no, no. Uh, both uh, from the winner. Ah, uh, brought from the winner. Yeah, offered by the winner, by the way. One of us is going bankrupt then. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? So let's do a deal. If we win a race, we get the salami pizza. If we don't win, then we have to take the pineapple pizza. Oof. Yeah, this is an interesting That's not challenge. a punishment, though. That's like a reward. Or exactly. You, you are in a different world. <laughs> Have you ever had, um, pardon? Yeah, teach. I don't want to try, but teach me. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Vamos <laughs> a so, so, this is a controller. Yeah, this is ah, a controller. Way, yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's yours also. It's maybe. Yeah. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, you can sit on or if you want, huh? You can sit there. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's mess so, some stuff up. Press R2 for, for the throttle. Right, I've done one game of Rocket League in my life. Ah, yeah, so you know. You, How do you, you know do the boost well. again? Huh? The I boost is uh, the circle. Yeah, but the, 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 oh, okay. the goal we... is set to, to the Oh, with the other side. Yeah, yeah, on the yeah, other you're side. You're doing alcohol. I just took out David. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that is his car in the, the team, yeah. by the way. I, I've done two goals. Wait, how yes, did you do the boost? one assist, mate. How did you do the boost again? Uh, oh, uh, the, with the right, right button. What one? The, the, boost, uh, the boost was this, the circle. Oh, the, the circle. circle. I told you, mate. Easy. Yeah, I wasn't listening, to be fair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's the only my trait in life, is not listening. Oh, is it? Next game? Yeah. All right, sweet. I don't know what's going on. Am I meant to be playing right now? Yeah, yeah, you can play, you can play me. <laughs> you can play me. I have no idea no. how it works. No, oh, uh, he exit from the game. <laughs> Pardon? How? Oh, yeah, um, I'm so confident. I think, guys, we, we need to, you need to left, I think. I'm going to leave the match. Why? Huh? I don't know. I don't uh, there's know. no Marcus. Oh, okay. You, maybe there's know. the bot, Armstrong. Oh, bot. it's the bot. I was wondering why it was playing so good. Yeah, then. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So, Brandon, if you press start and you press for the surrender, we can leave the match. I wow, think that's it? surrender? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my Italian is beautiful. It's bot per abbandonare. Yeah. It's left, leave the match. Left the match. Have, so have you it? learned Italian yet? No. Nothing. I've learned all the bad words. Right. Ah, Anything else? But I think no. That so and they, no, don't, um, they don't make you do Italian lessons here in the eSports side? No. I just spend all my time running. Running? Yeah. I literally do running instead of Italian lessons. Didn't expect that, yeah. yeah. Well, in FDA we actually have to do like two hours minimum per week of Italian lessons. Nice. Probably more than that actually. No, more than that. So like, what yeah. you're saying is you join the eSports team instead? Um, sure. Sure. Yeah. We can do a... <laughs> we can do a swap if you like. <laughs> okay, perfect. So. Yeah, non posso. Is David trying to win? No. no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I was waiting for, uh... for a play. No, no, now I can. Okay, perfect. Now I can, because someone has quit the match. Switch. Switch the position. Is it because my name is him? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm embarrassing him, am I? <laughs> ah, you was David for uh, one minute. Uh, no, for 10 minutes, sorry. So, no, no bad. Oh, okay. But apart from that, how's life? Life is good, man. Life is pretty same old. Same old? Yeah, man. How long till the next race? Too long. Too long. Saudi Arabia is the next race. Really? Wow. Yeah. On well, December. Yeah, and I need to get vaccinated to go. Have you been to Saudi before? I'm not happy about that. Um, what? Have you been to Saudi before? No, I haven't. Really? <laughs> no. Like, I went to Riyadh in 20... 19, uh -huh. I think. It was alright. You, you, right. yeah, ah, you need to okay, learn. Okay. Let, let me just... 
Go on, David. Where's the weirdest place you've been? At the moment, you're at the, the gym. weirdest place. Like weird, like the place that people don't expect you to go. Oh, you mean a country or, no, or just country, a place? Like, because when I tell people I've gone to Saudi, they're like, really? that is a pretty <laughs> random place to it go is, on isn't holiday, it? isn't it? Well, no, it wasn't a holiday. It was Race of Champions. Oh, nice. Were you competing? Yeah. You were competing? Not, so they had the eSports tournament. Right. Um, and if you won that, then you went into the real one. Oh, nice. Oh, you went I remember that. Oh, one awesome. of the guys did really well, right? Uh, like... Benito, I think Yeah, he did well, didn't he? Yeah. 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 No, no, he, uh, no, no, no. He went faster than uh, Degrassi. I think he knocked out Degrassi for me. Uh, 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 Ryan Anterey okay. and Degrassi. He, be, he beat it. Uh, yeah. Can you imagine then, how gutted you'd be? I, I mean, no offence, <laughs> but if one of you guys jumped in and knocked me out and... <laughs> Do you want to have a race? <laughs> I would be catastrophically upset. Let's <laughs> no race. Offense. Let's do a race. <laughs> what? Let's do a race. Me, you. Yeah, all right. F1600s. Oh. I'll see you at the Haynes. Well, um, you probably won't know this, but I used to race Formula Fords. Yeah, I know. When I was young. Yeah. Like 12 years old. So... Fastest on a test day, other person buys each other pizza. No, fastest on a test day. Fast, whoever whoever no, finished higher on a then. test day, make it worthwhile so I actually want to come and that compete. 10,000 euros. Well, no, because you're never going to pay me 10,000 no, euros. I will. If I'm you, a man of All right, then, if you want to pay so me 10,000 euros. Okay. Okay. See you at the Haynes. Okay. Serious? Yeah. We've got proof everyone's yeah. watching. Good. I'll see you at the Haynes. What is Haynes? The Walter Haynes. So it's a Formula Ford um, F 1600 race at the end of the year. All right, we can do that. That sounds brilliant. But I'm doing my own setup. You're not going to give me a, oh, no, no. a car that's 100 kilos of fuel. And then no, no, you can find your own team. You can find your own car. No problem. No worries. You can pay for that as well. No, no. Worth <laughs> a shot. Um, yeah, I don't know what a Haynes is, though. Like, it's just the uh, person. Hmm? That okay. they named it after. No, no. Okay. okay. Um, cool. Joining in the blue. The blue. Uh, in the blue. Yes. Sorry. But this in is a different controller. This is the blue. Yes. Xbox controller. Yeah, but same button, mate. Okay. Okay. Perfect. You are in the blue. Different car as well. Come on, David. So if you, if you press B, so the circle uh -huh. on PlayStation, you have the turbo. Thirty percent <laughs> at the moment. You can go. Oh gosh, I'm all over the show. Oh well, there's me. <laughs> there's me playing with my name. Ciao. Oh, oh, ciao, 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 Ramon. ciao Bella. No. <laughs> oh, that ball, that just... <laughs> great, great, no. Wait, so we have to score into the orange, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I just took out David again. <laughs> this is officially on my I don't know which game side I'm trying to score, though. And the orange. In the orange one. Right, that, yeah, that could have been one of the first things you told me. <laughs> I've been trying to score the other one. Okay. Okay, now you need to defend. Not that it matters, though. Uh, actually, uh, today was uh, today there was an, a good, uh, um, good email about that, but uh, Boom. I think that uh, Ooh, soon, goes really soon I will, uh, I will save my <laughs> Just that. Uh, Nah, but your hair no, looks no, beautiful. No, no, my hair will be will rest the same for the that rest of the good. year. If you win the championship, I will... Don't, you were still going to say something, wasn't you? I will eat a pizza with you. You'll eat a pizza? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It wasn't shave your hair if we win the championship, was it? Completely. How about Com the Why guy? not? Completely. Completely, why not? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, yeah, let's do it. yes. With my hair, it's, it's easy. Why do people in chat asking how old are you? How old do I look? <laughs> um, 18. Plus three. 18 plus three. You're 23 so now. 21. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. For in the meantime, they, they answer to the age. Uh, Brenda? Yeah. Why you ate pineapple on a pizza? What I, why I eat really pineapple? Yeah. No, no, honestly, like, I don't really eat pineapple on pizza. I think it's a top five pizza, like, for me. Yeah, but as a kid, but you would have eaten pineapple on pizza coming from yeah, England. Yeah, 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 that's what I mean. That's like, the thing. Like, I don't with dislike our culture, it. we eat pineapple on pizza as a kid, like, from yeah, yeah. Domino's and this sort of place. Then, obviously, Italians will be like, how dare you do this? <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> no, but honestly, I pineapple... I speak with, with this accent. With, no? with this accent. How, how, dare how, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you? But no, you, pineapple you stop the game. pizza ain't bad. <laughs> Did I? To say this, yes. What? You just stop it in the middle of the track yeah. to, to do this, to say this. Um, what was I going to oh, say? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, David, oh, uh, David being OP. And another question for all these for drivers. How is prepare for the F1 eSports in real life? So for the first race, how is this? 
Um, plenty of pizza and long nights, to be honest. But no, David, how do you prefer? How do you prefer? Um, well, how do we prefer? Because <laughs> we're well, change well, together, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, basically we need to test everything we can, like every single condition, like rain, dry, and make the setup for all three races. And one yeah. particular thing about the F1 Esports is that we did some three different track of tracks for, for events. So it's not like a normal weekend of F1 where they just need to prepare just that track, uh, but we need to prepare three. So we, as you may know, we need to prepare dry setup for every single track, wet setup, and then of course we need to go really fast. So we need to find every single millisecond. So well, it's really hard to prepare. Going fast is optional, but the team prefer <laughs> it. <laughs> but no, I think that's a good summary of it because I think like you touched upon, in real Formula 1, you have the one weekend, of course, there's a lot to prepare for that one weekend. But for us, it's a really intense build-up of two to three weeks, and then two to three weeks of work over three tracks into one day. That's, that's the really difficult thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like, and also to manage your body's energy level in, in that time frame, because it's quite easy to expend all your energy in the first one maybe two qualifying sessions and then you're done <gasps> am i scoring no no <laughs> but you are catching all, all the orange uh, guys so i was teaching how to fly no oh. ah, it's <laughs> impossible <laughs> and uh, also for me it's impossible after after five years of practice in this game <laughs> five years of practice are you kidding me ah uh, yes i have the game from 2016-15 yeah, but uh, I don't. Uh, I, I just play randomly. I found out about this game. Go, go, go! Fly, fly! Mate, oh. I'm trying. It's just like all over the show. There we go. David it's being the 15th a beast. time he's scored. This is ridiculous. We need to put a handicap <laughs> on him. No, no, he's on our team. We need to like put one hand behind his back and make it fair. And he can be a pro in every game. I play MotoGP for just yeah. uh, a question for you. one hour. Uh, the top five pizza, I think the top one for me is salami. Oh my god, I just, I just hurt someone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you could destroy, destroy their car. But no, I think salami for me is the best one. Um, in the UK, okay, I think Italians don't like this, but there's like the chicken on the pizza and the wow. bacon. Uh, I heard the Italians behind go, ah, ah, how dare you do this? You come to the country and yeah, you ruin the pizza. Even me, I would say that's borderline. No, like, it's so chicken good. Chicken on a pizza? <laughs> no. no, no, it's good, it's good. But so, salami, chicken and bacon, mushroom pizza. Mushroom pizza is pretty good. Um, I don't know what I'd put as fourth. Um, maybe just plain cheese, like margarita. What about pasta? Okay. Then Ooh, pineapple pizza. Favourite pasta, did you say? Yeah. Um, honestly, now I've got to say it's carbonara. Great. I make a really good carbonara now. Great. Yeah, you make it, do you? Yeah. Yeah, we teach it, uh, him. Honestly, you teach me really it. well. Oh, Absolutely. I keep missing the ball. You saved the, the ball. Uh, By accident, though, sir. So. <laughs> yeah. Is Brandon actually that short? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, Brandon is <laughs> <that's> actually <laughs> really short. <laughs> I can't say no. Maybe if he sits in a simulator, you wouldn't tell, but... <laughs> no, no, you're still telling us him. <laughs> <laughs> because like, um, so this is actually one of the funny things about the difference between me and David is me and him have different seat, basically inserts to suit our sizes different. Like I tried his one and for me, I can't <laughs> with my back, Apparently. but then he tries my one and you can't with yeah. your back either. We are winning. This so uh, really it's an interesting one. But the good thing about, about it is right. we never get our clothes mixed up. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. And I think you won. Ah, uh, easy dubs. Thanks, David. Yeah, hey, five hey, goals. We won. We won. He won. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> we as a team. The match. How many yeah, goals Marcus, did he? Five. Question. They oh, ask you uh, if you watch uh, videos from different uh, the other ra races to to have an idea of the best line for your races. So if you do video analysis before going to a race. Yeah. Is my engineer asking that question? <laughs> um, yes, I do. Um, yeah, there's always something to learn from the previous year. And, uh, but as well, I take a lot of notes. So, um, 
So, yeah, there's a lot of preparation that goes into a race. You can't only just watch one race and learn everything. You also need to look at a lot of data <laughs> as well. And, um, I don't know why they ask you also if you speak German. German? Uh, yeah. Oh, man. No. <laughs> Not at all. Go on, Blue. I actually heard a really funny song yesterday. That was German. Go on, Blue, you two run. Oh, let's play against me. Oh, oh yeah. that's gonna be OP. You're gonna kill us. Great. Sorry? Uh, I look like to an answer for the day. I thought it said something. Uh, they you, how, uh, Marcus, if you speak a little bit Italian. Si, parlo italiano, perfetto. <laughs> Ma sto imparando. Um, oh, wait, David scored? <laughs> so, I need you on my team, man. <laughs> uh, how, how can I? Wait, so what do I want to say? I don't know, give me something to say. Um, what are you going tonight? Someone has asked me that. No, no, no. The no, answer no, no, no. is... Italian. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> Italian. Oh, wait, David's there um, at the back. Mate, destroy Sarah. him, destroy him. I can't keep up. Yeah. Ah, uh, almost don't go. You show us the song that. Ah. Uh, so my fans wrote a song for me. Your fans, just casually. Yeah. They just wrote a song for you. Right, yeah. Okay. My fans wrote a song for me. Nice. Oh, David. So um, what what was the question again? If you show us, they'll listen. Uh, I, I. Who are your fan? Pardon? You never non plural. <laughs> But uh, no, I'll put it into the group <laughs> chat tonight, and then we'll have a good time. We'll put it into the group chat. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's got some drama involved in it. <laughs> Late. Yo. Yeah. Uh, what? Right. for everyone. We can start with David. What country would you like to visit in the future? What country would you like to visit? Yeah, yes, which yes. Which country would you like to visit? Maybe Netherlands, because I always wanted to, <laughs> but also Belgium. Belgium also is really nice. Okay. Belgium? Um, yep. I think I would like to properly spend some time in America. I went through the JFK airport, so technically I've been to America, <laughs> but I want to actually go through and experience America, go to New York, and also go through um, like Grand, Ta Grand Canyon sort of area. And cool. I think it's pretty cool. I, I've, of course, never been there, but it seems pretty cool and to explore the nature of it a little bit more. Do you, Marcus, not talking about just races? I would love to go to New Zealand if I could, <laughs> but um, there are some extremely oh, wait, strict yes. Break, COVID me. rules in New Zealand, which have not allowed me to return home in a very long time. So oh. if I could go home, if I could go to one place on the planet, probably be New Zealand. What about Iceland? Yes. Iceland? Yeah. I don't know. It sounds a bit cold. <laughs> How about for you, Amos? Yeah, Iceland. Oh, you're going to I yeah, oh. yeah, Iceland or Japan. But what about Iceland that, sure. what about that cool. small island you showed me? <laughs> <laughs> so the, the backstory to this, I, I can't remember the actual place it was called, but this was for the summer shutdown when F1 was happening. So we all got two, three weeks off. And Amos showed me like this small island that <laughs> was frozen. It's like, the, yeah, uh, I'm going to drive Lofoten, like... Lofoten Island, yeah, uh, uh, Norway. A little bit David because he's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I guess it's in the name, try-harding. You're trying hard. <laughs> what are you doing? Me, I'm, I'm doing the opposite to what he's doing. <laughs> opposite of uh, try-harding. I'm looking at the... <laughs> I'm just seeing if the... Seeing if the compliance of the oh, suspension is good. My God, that is... Uh, <laughs> mama, <yeah>. Did I win? <laughs> Did you win? Yeah, yeah, yes. We won. Even if, uh, how much practice have time. you had on this, mate? Well, yeah, how many hours have you done? <laughs> well, no, I, I don't play this game since a really long time. Sure. Yeah, yes, no, no, yesterday no, night. Yesterday, no, yesterday no, night. No, no, but I've got like 300 hours on it. So oh, 300. It, is that it? That's sure. maybe why. Yeah. That, that's not 300 my goal, by the way. 300 hours. Oh. 300 is just easier. How many hours do you have on that one, David? Less. Uh, I don't know, because every time we, need, we have a new game, so probably like... 1,600, probably, between all games. Uh, all games Is that it? Mate. Yeah. Do you, I mean, I have do you get paid by the 500 hour? on uh, the 2019, and 600 on the 2020, and now 150 on the uh, 2021. 
So yeah, maybe let's no, count definitely. a little bit of 2017, 2018 on console and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably 1,600. I, mean, I was going to say, I've been playing the F1 game since 2010. Uh, honestly, I think I have over 10,000 hours in all of them. I love the 2010 game. It was so good. It right? was honestly a vibe, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, it was like the first game where it was like, okay, this is cool. You yeah. know? Do you remember the 2019, the 2009 game? Oh, yes. I, didn't, I didn't have a Wii. <laughs> the Wii. On the PSP I had it. Yeah, the PSP, yeah. Yes. 10 out of 10 for effort, well, 1 out of 10 I guarantee for I would have been better than you at the F1 game back then. <laughs> oh, yeah? This question, we should, but no, like, you probably would have been. We should what? time travel back to 2009. Do you play video game on mobile when you're bored or you're waiting to start? Well, David, no. Why? Yeah, <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, just a couple, like Clash so of Clans or Trivia, trivia Crack, something the, like that. Yeah, just a couple, the, all, day, all day. The question was, that, um, oh. do we play any mobile games? And yep. earlier today, we were starting a qualifying session, was it? <laughs> and then David was like, ah, oh, my Clash of Clans, I just started to... <laughs> 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 yeah, let, let's explain this. Uh, uh, you, you did your job uh, perfectly, but um, sometimes there's a pause, a uh, stop, uh, five minutes. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you can destroy some city on battle. Uh, it's a good way to spend your time. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> did I score? Yes, in some way, yes. In a strange way, maybe. Uh, well, a uh, question for you. Uh, Go on. Only from one of your fans. Did you see a New Zealand flag at the grandstand in Sochi? They, they, they were cheering with you there. It's a kit cake. Who's, who said that? You, say, you saw. Kitty uh, Cat said that. Okay. You saw a New Zealand flag in Sochi? <laughs> yeah, of course I did. Uh, no, <laughs> damn, I didn't actually see it. I saw a bunch of people on the track walk um, because there was like a there was like a pit lane tour when we were doing our track walk, which was cool. Got to see about a couple thousand Russian fans, which was funny. But um, I didn't see any New Zealand flags, which is strange because I definitely would have noticed that. <laughs> you don't often see those hanging around. But next time, hopefully. So, and you, Marcus, do you play on mobile when you are waiting or in flight? Um, no. I'm so bad with games, like, oh my, for the 15th time, <laughs> they, oh my god. <laughs> Please. No, I don't know. The last time I played a video game on my phone would have been, um, you know, when the, was it a monkey or like a bird? Oh, Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird. That's oh, the one. God. Yes. That was a yes, long time ago, though. Like, well, maybe when I was 12, I don't know. <laughs> and then uh, real racing, maybe, as well. But um, I'm more of a chill sort of guy. Music. Yeah. What kind of music? Podcasts and music I like, yeah. Just when I don't have to engage any, any thought or muscle, I'm happy, you know. <laughs> a favorite singer? Favorite singer? Yeah. Um, it's got to be me, you know? Yes, my favorite singer is you. <laughs> uh, um, well, what a tricky question. <laughs> I don't know. I would have to say um, Dave Dobbin. Yeah, you know him? Um, tell me some song of him. All right. Um, da Dave, Dave Dobbin, surely you know him. <laughs> He's huge in Italy. Dave. Dave Dobbin, yeah. Uh, maybe after I... Slice of heaven. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll try it after. Marcus, another question for you. What is your favorite track on the calendar this year? Uh, my favorite track this year? Ooh. Hmm. Probably Monaco. You'd be silly not to say that, I guess. Did the game end, by the way? Yeah, uh, ready again? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's go. Monaco is. Wow, bravo, cool. David. <laughs> yeah, Monaco's pretty sick because it's like it's like the grip of a normal racetrack except you're going between walls. Where normally street tracks are quite low grip but and also very bumpy. Um, but Monaco is obviously super soft on a track surface that is essentially the same as um, Sochi. So it's like properly grippy and then, yeah, just such high corner speeds because of the grip. So, I mean, it's pretty incredible to drive. Who is your, your idol, basically, the, the person you have me at 
Vamos, Amos is my idol. <laughs> I knew it. Thank you, mate. <laughs> you are my idol, mate. Um, I appreciate all sportsmen, to be fair. It sounds very cliche, but um, who am I following? Them? I, A forward driver? Well, yeah, I, obviously I, I, I support um, drivers, but I'm also a big sports fan in general. I think that, um, like at the moment, the NFL season has started. You guys probably don't even know what that is. <laughs> NFL, like American football with your hands and, as opposed to your feet. You've heard of that, right? Yeah, I've heard of Go it. Go on, yeah. Watching. Tom Brady, you'll know him. Yes, Tom Brady. You, uh, yeah, you know The him. legend. I only know him if you like Name one sports. other player. What, sorry? <laughs> sorry. I know that... What, sorry? Name one other player. One other player? Yeah. Ah, no, I don't know. But he's a legend. I don't know. I, yeah. I just noticed that. Anyway, uh, Tom is famous for a reason, I guess. But, um, you know, a lot of those players are just freaking machines. So it's just cool to see, you know, like how you can push the human body so far. Hopefully everyone's clean. Yeah, in, in our country, it's... It's not so followers, so... Oh. No? Larry, can you commence a little bit your gameplay? <laughs> Don't try hard. Don't try hard as much. Well, right now I, I'm in team with, uh, with Marcus and I think Brandon's the other one, yeah. You can the show my team. onboard if you like. Wait, I'm the only one not on the team, <laughs> so I suddenly became new when oh, wait. I joined the, the team with Marcus. So I can even score a goal. Oh wait, I took and, and, and Yes, that's good. <laughs> <You're> team, <laughs> Let's <so>. go. <laughs> Teamwork at its finest, baby. Yeah, teamwork with a uh, with a bot. You, you only have bots in your team. <laughs> oh wait, I only have bot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. like Mario yeah. Yeah, Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario Kart. Wow. Yes. Mario Kart is the OG game. Like, <laughs> come on. There's nothing better than Mario Kart. <laughs> Honestly, put Mario Kart. On this Seriously, thing. I would actually enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. put Mario Kart. On this. this would <laughs> yeah, 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 let's take it out on the streets. F2 is the equivalent of Mario Kart in real so, life. Oh, yeah? You, golf, you even have bananas you and not yeah, pockets yeah, in your suit. You're, not, yeah, not you're, really you're, you're obligated oh, okay, to bring Madeline, banana the... deals with you. <laughs> oh, yeah? In case of... Which NFL team are you supporting, Marcus? Um, who is asking the question? Oh, wait, is, is that going to go in? F. Agent Bundy. Yeah, is it an English name? Because I'm gonna. Yeah, it's not common. I don't know. Uh, I'm following obviously everyone, but I'm not like from America, so I don't follow one team. I obviously follow whatever Tom Brady's team is, and then the one that's winning at the time. So <laughs> wait, what do you mean? What team is? Sure, do they not stay in the same team that often? Mm, well. I literally have no idea how it works. No, they, they, yeah. they often change teams, not, not like really commonly, but... So more than F1 or...? No, not that much. I'd say the LA Rams are going pretty well this year. The Bucks, obviously. Um, the it, Bills. So it changes a lot year to year? There's no... Okay, there's some top, 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 top teams that are consistent to be there, but it changes a lot or...? Um, yeah, it's constantly changing because it'd be like an F2. If, let's say F1 was was like the NFL. They would every year they would put the like the worst team would have the best driver sort of thing. So oh, okay. e each year there's a draft and they take the worst team takes the best player from college that season. So they try and like level the playing field constantly. No, it's a good idea to be fair. Yeah. But an F2, well, that wouldn't exactly work in motorsport, but still. No, because you're buying your seat rather than... <laughs> well, yeah, but also, like, the newest driver's not going to be able to kick the ass of yeah. Lewis Hamilton, as he, so... Um, Dolly, what kind of uh, video game you play except for some racing? Excel, uh, Rocket, Rocket League. League. Rocket League. <laughs> Rocket League. <laughs> no, no, the only game, game that I'm playing right now is called Dead by Daylight which is like an asymmetric game where you need to survive or you can just be the killer and kill all the other survivors. I've just yeah. discovered that you can jump in this game. <laughs> yeah, I told you, but yes. The double jump also with the X, X, A, if you jump, the green button. Well, thanks for telling me, guys. 
I've Wait. just been driving around doing donuts. <laughs> so, no, no, David, mate. are you no, no, someone no, 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 no. who <laughs> survives or kills? No, I told you. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch, touch the sky. Great. Think about it every night and day. <laughs> I spread my wings and I fly away. <laughs> I believe I can score. I believe I can score. <laughs> I believe I can score. I can score. <laughs> so Brandon, how's playing Rocket League? It's, I'm not going to lie, the time of my life. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying this so much, I think I'm going to quit F1 Esports and do this professionally. I believe it when yeah, I Yeah, like, just yeah. Look. I'm not going to be taking their job, they don't need to worry. Oh yeah, I've seen some clips of it and they're just like flying everywhere. They're like, they are incredible what they do. I'm the goalkeeper. Yep. Oh! No. Wow, David. <laughs> wow, you've got 61 miles an hour. You sped in the pit lane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I yeah. think it's an obvious question for Marcus. What is the best car you ever drove in your life? Mm. Um. <laughs> what did you tell me at the museum? I think you did. <laughs> what is the best car I've ever driven? The best car I've ever driven. Uh, not a race car, though, because that's not fair. Race car? Well, no, because we that but road car hmm. looks at the PR people <laughs> <laughs> what am I allowed to say uh, no <laughs> uh, we did that we did that filming with the F8 spider that was a pretty cool car obviously um, and yes but that's a race car and that's like a rocket ship on wheels it's a spaceship can you explain the, the feeling when you pass the first time? Yeah, happened? your neck is really sore afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> because I think you have in front two guys that it's their dream is to go to. Yeah, that's my least favorite thing about motorsports. I've been to do neck training. It's probably a problem you guys don't have on the simulator, but um, like today I just finished the gym about an hour ago. We were doing neck. Did about half an hour of neck. And normally I like to sleep on my stomach, right? But after a day of neck training, I can't turn my head enough to sleep on my stomach. How many times a week do you do neck training? Um, before a race, like leading up to a race weekend, I would be like doing three days a week of neck. Okay. Which is destroying, soul destroying. Because at the moment I do four times a week, 12 minutes a session. What are you doing there? Uh, 45 kg res resistance band. Of course it's not going up to 45 kg. So you're doing more than Callum then? Oh yeah? I remember <laughs> Callum before his F1 test in Nürburgring last year, which didn't end up happening. Um, he just told me about it. He's like, yeah, next week I'm doing FP1 and Nürburgring. And I was like, far out, Callum. Have you done neck, any neck training? And he's like, huh, no. <laughs> and so he's sitting in the lounge. We're watching TV and he just picks up a, a resistance band. And he starts doing this, like, just playing, basically. Like, what is the point? <laughs> You're about to jump into an F1 car. But his neck is strong. He can handle it or? Well... Oh, that is. That's the thing, like, um, <clears throat> the first day you're always going to struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. your body's day be after break. a winter break, you're always going to struggle. So you may as well just enjoy winter. <laughs> enjoy the winter, yeah, because <laughs> the first day is always going to be a disaster. But then afterwards, you get a little bit used to it. But you need to train, obviously, otherwise, you're just going to be a passenger. So would you say. It's more the fact that there's loads of vibrations and well, there's more factors than just a constant resistance. Well, you can't replicate hitting the brakes and having 6G yeah, yeah. straight away. Okay. Uh, and even when we do tr so neck training, we can't, we can't replicate no the, way, the, the aggression that the G comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's actually <laughs> ridiculous. Obviously, you get used to it, but... Um, but it'd almost be dangerous for someone to, in person to try and do it, almost. Would you say? Yeah, I've always laughed. At, like I've always joked that if I take like my sister for a drive in like a ro like a race car, like a GT car, the first thing she'll notice is like her neck will fall off her shoulders, yeah. basically. <laughs> and because <laughs> you, like, you just don't even consider it when you think about racing. But you also do the car things are good. 
good way to train it or no? Yeah, definitely. Casting is like the best. Have you done any? Uh, not really proper. I did some X30 at Wilton Mill in 2018. Nice. I love Wilton Mill. Like, yeah, I mean, I can't really say I've done any proper, proper karting to use it as training, to be honest. Yeah, when I was a kid, basically, until I was 11, I think. Which category? Uh, 60, 60 cc. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was still uh Were you racing with anyone that, like, races now, professionally? Uh, no, professionally, never. I just did some championship in, like, a, a track where I used practice. Uh, but then my brother was was also racing, so when he, he switched to 150 and 25, uh, we did like just a championship, and then we we finished our career basically. Because of course it was really really expensive to mm, yeah. to go both. Karting is really expensive. If I remember, uh, you told me that uh, you seen um, the son of uh, Mikakinen. No, I saw Mikakinen. I saw you because, saw Mika. Yeah, okay. because of my Burn City does like an international kart track, and yeah, that day there was the there was a race, and also the son of Mika Akinen was racing. So I found him in a, in the paddock, basically. Was he oh. good? <laughs> what do you mean? Was he drunk? No, the kid. The was kid he... was good. Ah, I can't remember. I was <laughs> I was too little. I, I just I, at at the time I I didn't even know who, who he was. Ah. <laughs> Should have taken him out. <laughs> Hmm. Mark is giving up. He's given up. <laughs> is drifting? Oh, okay, okay. The okay, ball's okay. coming towards me. What? Uh, yes. Mark, <laughs> another question for you. What, what was your favorite race all the time? So your race, in your all categories. My favorite. Favorite my favorite race ever was when I did the esports race in Austria <laughs> <laughs> with. Arthur as my teammate and I completely bottled it and almost spun out of turn one. Uh, that was a sad moment because I just needed that DRS just to stay in the game, didn't I? And then, but the reason that was fun, the reason that was fun was because first off, Davide did an absolutely sensational job of putting me on pole position. <laughs> and also, I didn't do much practice for that race where Arthur had been in Monaco preparing the race and I had been like sort of on and off coming here for like 20 minutes and leaving going get coffee and just chilling and I was miles off like totally out of the game and then I was off pole and I was like oh my days I'm completely <laughs> underprepared I'm like actually nervous because I know I don't know what I'm doing and um, the race actually went unbelievably smoothly and that's what the people don't realize is why I was so happy during that race was because like I should have been minutes behind <laughs> I was actually like fighting for a podium so that was kind of funny uh, but genuinely my best race uh, when I won the European karting championship race in Sweden I, th I would say that was like an amazing feeling because that was like my first big win in Europe um, and yeah one one David and, yeah. I didn't do anything to help it but <laughs> one one we're going to overtime now so David next week you will have three important races right? not five five <laughs> yeah basically yeah we yeah we we have on I think Wednesday and Thursday we have F1 Esports, so of course the first three races and the first event. And then uh, the day after on Friday we have the SRO Sprint Series race around Imola, I think. Yes, and then Barcelona. And then Barcelona the day after, which is a three hours. Yeah, three thing. hours with Giovanni yes. De Salvo. So we got five races basically next week and it's going to be insane. We never had these, these many races in a week. <laughs> And we can tell you guys that uh, it's extremely difficult to oh, come swap, on. Uh, switch to switch. My from next race Formula is in about two ACC. months, mate. Sit down. <laughs> come and join with us. Yeah. I would love to <laughs> race every week, well, three times a week. That would be bloody brilliant. <laughs> the next time you complain about racing too much, I'm going to hit you over the head. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a bit for your preparation for the first round? 
Yeah, so my preparation for the first round, of course, is like David sort of said earlier. We've been working together, working hard. David just won the game, GG. But no, we've been working hard behind the scenes as well. We've been using our facility here because we have what can only best be described as an office we have here. We have loads of space here, so we've been using the space to... I should look at the camera when I say this. Uh, we've been using the space in appropriate ways to sort of build the simulators and build our talent up. We've had data debriefs as well, and overall doing everything we can do to be the best prepared we can do for the championship. You sound like an infomercial. You sound like an infomercial. <laughs> what should I say instead then? We've done absolutely nothing. You've been groomed well by the Ferrari media school, haven't you? Tiziana, you've done a brilliant job. <laughs> Can you, can you tell Brandon how is your normal day in training here? So, my normal day, let's just say it's like a Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. I'll wake up, run 10 kilometers in the morning, um, come to work, well, work, you know, it's more fun, but uh, come to work, do six hours about on the simulator, um, go home and then do my strength workout four times a week. What strength workout? So I do... 150 push-ups, 150 crunches, 90 bicep curls, 120 chest presses, and 90 Russian twists. Nice. You know, well, normal day. Uh, right now I don't have school because I'm like doing the internship with with Ferrari, so I like I'm, I should be training in the morning. But uh, yeah, I go to the gym in the morning. Then uh, of course, as Brandon does, I I have some training in the in the afternoon and then rest in the in the evening. Yeah, you call uh, this fun or work? Well, it's both. Because, you know, we, we're getting paid for it, but we, we're also having fun, so... Okay, okay. It's both fun yeah. and job. Why am I not getting paid for that? If you love your, uh, <laughs> if you love your work, uh, you never work. Yeah, exactly. This is, this, this is a proper Italian phrase. Fra phrase. Yeah, it's phrase italiana, worldwide. Fantastica, it's bro. worldwide, to be honest. Yeah, and it's worldwide, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. If you love your work... And for you, I'm not playing. What? Your day. Day well, Stefan. well, I I, I just sleep uh, uh, sleep uh, four hours per day, five hours per day. He's not joking, uh, by the way. <laughs> I'm not joking. No, yeah. Well, Why? Well, um, yeah, yeah. I have uh, a lot of stuff to do to do with uh, Stefano, the coach. Um, we are watching uh, them he's a, plus he's mom, Dominic and Benz uh, behind the scenes. We analyze all the data. We uh, we set also this. Uh, I set also this. So. Um, is an is a incredible work, but I love this this kind of job to be yeah. honest. And then I do my live streaming, I do my vi I make my video. So five uh, five hours a day is not enough, mate. No, yes, yes. Uh, during the weekend, I slept uh, <coughs> fourteen hours. Fourteen. Yes, my record was sixteen. Well, that's proof that you need more during the week, <laughs> isn't it? Literally, yeah, yeah. I oversee Amos Don't do it in this, two forms. I oversee him working or sleeping. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing in between. Or well, you guys sleep together or something? Oh yeah, we sleep all the same. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. In the same house, in the same bed. No. We cook no. together. We no. sleep no, no, together. No, no, no. We shower together. All right, settle down. Ziana <laughs> <laughs> doesn't want to hear that. Sure, it's good. And, and Marcus, can you tell uh, what is your normal day? It's a standard day in Maranello. Um, standard day. Well. There, there are two types. There's one, day, one type of day which I'll be on, on a simulator from 9 a.m. till 5, which is cool. And then there's the other type of day where I get to wake up, and unlike you, I sleep a lot, so I'll sleep like nine hours, try and sleep nine hours. And then um, coffee, gym. Coffee. Again, coffee. Yeah, usually I'll do two gym sessions in a day. So morning will be cardio, and then afternoon will be gym. And then, I don't know, just hang about and... Hang about. It's good yeah. life. The question, I don't know for who is, but uh, street tracks or endurance races? Street. Right. Easy. Mm, probably endurance. Uh, depends on the situation, but more endurance. Like, I prefer to do an hour and a half race than just 20 minutes. Well, hour and a half still isn't endurance, but 
24 hours of Le Mans. Wait till you get to drive on a street track and then you'll change your mind. Yeah. Yeah. When suddenly track limits are not an option. Yeah. That's when you start <laughs> to be like, you, get, you jump in the car and you're like, all right, so I might, might take it a bit easy here. <laughs> Okay, guys. Uh, I think uh, I think we are uh, we've done. Uh, you did a great job. Thanks, mate. man. Really great Appreciate job. Appreciate it. <laughs> no, it was really it was really um, wonderful to have you on board. Thanks. I too. will listen your uh, your favorite singer now. After this live stream for sure. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and it was a pleasure, guys. See you uh, see you soon with um, some interesting, really interesting uh, uh, live streaming about. Uh, uh, stuff. The, the next event, the next Formula One event, the first event. So, thank you, Brandon. Thank you, David. Thank you, mate. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.